Some of you are holding off moving to the 2009 revision of the ASME standard. I hear all sorts of excuses why. We can't afford the training. Our suppliers won't understand our drawings. Our CAD system doesn't have the new symbols. And on and on. Look, the only people who like change are web babies. I get that. Let me assure you that the clarification and benefits of going to the latest revision far outweigh the perceived negatives. This tip will show you that your drawings do not have to look any different if you upgrade from the 1994 to the 2009 revision. Yeah, there are seven new symbols, but you don't need the symbols to say what you mean. If you are a premium site member, the premium video of this tip will show you how to say what you mean without using the new symbols. In the 1994 standard, in section 3.2, we're told that you can always use notes. Situations may arise where the desired geometric requirements cannot be completely conveyed by symbology. In such cases, a note may be used to describe the requirement. So we have these seven new symbols, but we can handle most of them with notes. The circle I replaces a note that we used to put on our drawings to override rule one, which was perfect form at MMC, not required. The double circle where the leader breaks means all over, which has the same meaning as a general note. It's an unless otherwise specified application, usually for profile of a surface. Continuous feature is something that we can do using position or profile without a datum reference. We used to do it in the composite callouts and now it's fine to use position or profile without a datum reference where you have a continuous feature. So we really don't need that symbol. It's just a shorthand. The movable datum target symbol came out in 1996 in the Y14-8 standard. So if you really want to use that and you don't want to do it by note, you can just reference the Y14-8 standard. Spot face. It's better to show the dimensions for the spot face so everybody's really clear on what you mean because the subtle difference between spot face and counterbore can cause lawsuits. Datum translation symbol is one that's rarely needed and you can handle it with a note very similar to the movable target symbol. And the U in a circle is something that first came out in 2003 in the Y1441 standard so you can reference the Y1441 standard or use the phantom lines to indicate unequal or unilateral tolerance as we did in 1994. By moving to the 2009 revision many benefits and clarifications can be realized. There's compatibility with the standards that have been released since the 1994 standard was printed. And the new revision reflects many of the changes that we have seen in our coordinate measuring machine and vision system software. There's clarification of size depending on the function and application. There's many types of size from local size to the size of the actual main envelope. Meeting envelopes have been expanded so it's easier to understand whether you want a related or unrelated envelope when you're trying to establish a center to establish a datum or when you're controlling the center axis or center plane of a feature. And the same is true for minimum material envelopes where least material condition is applied. The standard now shows more features that can be used as datum features and explains the degrees of freedom that are constrained when they are used as datum features. Datum shift, which is an area that a lot of people have confusion, has been expanded and clarified. Composite tolerancing has been expanded to include more than two segments in a position or a profile composite tolerance. Least material condition applications have been expanded and the list of benefits just goes on and on. So you can protest going to the 2009 revision of the Y14-5 standard or you can relax and enjoy the benefits that it provides. The most important thing of course is to follow whichever standard your drawing is made to because at Techies, GD&T rules. And we can help you migrate to the new revision. I'll see you next tip.